That, that is the goal, is to explore new types of ways of managing the classroom. I, you know, traditionally it's funny because um, if you look at a lot of what, what goes on a lot of schools of education right now when they're teaching the teachers, a lot of it is classroom management. Um, and you know, this is something I'm actually personally horrible at. I was actually a volunteer uh, teacher in, when I was in college at a local a school, local, and, and I remember the, after the first session, three of the kids were standing on top of a desk and there's nothing that I could do about it. I was, I was trying to pull them off. I, 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 didn't, I didn't know, I didn't know how, what to do. Um, and and, and that's, what's, that's part of the, what's so challenging about being a teacher. 30 kids, you have to control them, you have to make it a productive environment. There's always one or two kids who are, don't want to do what, or what, what, what you're telling them to. But what's interesting about some of the classrooms we're seeing is it's, it's more natural for the students. You're not telling, people want to move around, people want to talk with each other. And to make them sit like this for uh, 60 minutes is, is, is actually inhuman. And we, but we were trained to do it, and those, you know, those two kids who are trouble are the kids who are just refused to, to give in. You know, they, they really, they, they really, and, and, and you know, I talk a lot about in the book, the side effect is, is that you end up, if, you know, 12 years of doing this, and, and taking notes, then you go into the workforce and they say, be innovative, be creative. And, and, and you're like, I, you know, tell me. And, 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 and so, um, and when you do that, I, you know, we've, we're seeing kids that you would traditionally think would be problems. You just let them interact with each other. You let them move around. The kids that would normally be very uh, antagonistic with the teacher, if you, if you don't like the teacher, you don't have to talk to them. You can do what you want, but at some point they realize, hey, that person wants to help me. And they and they and they and they, they they go ask for help, and the teachers themselves are finding they don't have to yell at students as much, they don't have to uh, discipline the students as much. Um, if there is a one-off case where they have to, there's a, an issue with a kid, it doesn't it doesn't hold back uh, 29 other students. Uh, and so I, I think there's a lot of potential here. But we're in the very early stages. Most of what we're doing is we're learning from other teachers. How you know we're just, here's a tool. Tell us what you want. We observe the classroom, and we're seeing new things. It's funny. One of the first pilots, a fifth grade classroom, and uh, we observed the teacher doing this little seminar with four of the students, and we're like, "What? Well, what is this thing you're doing?" And he's like, "These are my teaching assistants. These are fifth graders. You know, normally in college you have graduate students as your teaching assistants. These are fifth graders." And we're like, "What do you mean?" And we're like, "Well, you know, these kids are." They were a little bit further ahead, and uh, instead of them racing ahead, I thought it would be really good for them to learn how to communicate, learn how to uh, empathize with their peers. And it's really powerful because in a, in a lot of classes, sometimes the best math student, sometimes they can be a little arrogant, and because of that, other students don't like them. Uh, sometimes they haven't always developed their emotional skills as much, and so even though they're a very good math student, they have trouble with friendship and whatever else. But now in this model, that kid becomes very popular. You know, the, 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 the popular kid in the class will ask their help and is thankful that, that, that they're, they're helping them. So it actually creates a lot more camaraderie too. So I think there's a lot of potential, but we'll just keep exploring.